as you can see this is agents um basically uh i'm gonna keep doing the videos like this uh, i wish somebody would tell me otherwise if they don't like it so that i can um actually make real videos i was trying to do one i did this video already actually but for some odd reason my computer does it was it doesn't want to um read my phone i don't know but uh yeah i'm gonna do it like this um that side deck stuff that's not really a side deck that's just a different build that i had um i like using different cards so i just you know try it out different ways but basically let me get back let me get to the deck profile please comment on my video subscribe if you like and thumbs up if you like the deck profile um but yeah this is agents um I run three Earths, three Venuses, three Shine Balls, three Master Hyperion, only two Orange Light. The reason for that is because you can always draw a dead Venus, which would, you know, I mean, it's not a dead Venus, but um, once you use the first Venus for your Shine Balls, you don't need to use them anymore. Um, as you can already see already, uh i don't run tour guide i don't own tour guide and i'm not gonna spend that much for tour guide because it is really good but it's not needed in all in most decks but i mean it's a good card so i won't i won't hold it but then um as you can see the deck the deck already i don't have to explain you know i'll just you know two ex i mean i do have to explain but basically um two archers of christias um honest valor BLS, um, Goris, Trig, Sangan, Reaper, DD Crow. I'll talk about all the cards later. Three pots, one cards, two MSTs, you know, Reborn, Book, Mind Control, two. I don't like Solemn, so that's why I'm running Dark Bride. Okay. Now, basically, uh, the two orange lights is like I said, if you draw a. If you draw a Venus and you already use the first one, you can keep it in hand. This this guy negates almost. I think it negates every effect of any monster. Goris, it'll negate a Valor. It'll negate Pyramid Turtle. They're running zombies. Negate Ryko. I mean, the list goes on and on. Um, you know, Honest obviously they're all light. Um, and I, since I don't run three of this orange guy. I run one Valor. Um, plus, one thing you do have to notice, he is a level 2 tuner. So, if you want to go into a level 4, you know, you can Synchro with a Shine Ball. I mean, this is just probably a waste, but depending on how you're playing, it might look good at the time. You know, Sync, and then grab grab your opponent's level 4 with Mind Control and Exceed for a level 4. There you go. Mind Control is, is basically become the staple of this format, in my opinion. Um, BLS because you know I have what five darks here so I mean the odds of me not getting a dark in the grave grave are I mean I do have what 21 monsters so you know there could be a conflict there yeah but I mean it'll happen it'll, it'll get to the grave especially with dualities you can search the dark if you are really that desperate to drop um, BLS but you have two boss monsters here two Arthros Christias and two Hyperion so I mean Trag, he stops basically OTKs, you know. Uh, on top of if you are playing a mirror match, you can just grab, you know, grab their Irv, grab their Venus by ditching the one in your hand, and then still be able to summon Hyperion or you know exceed different plays. You know, it depends situational. Uh, Sangant grabs your Valor if you want, grabs your Orange Light, your Earth, It grabs almost every monster. Spear Reaper is the stall aspect of the deck. When you want to get into your combo pieces, you know, or whenever you're down, you can count on Spirit Reaper. Plus, you can always summon him. Your opponent will use Warning if they don't want to drop one of their good cards. So, it's a good baiter. Plus, if they have an open field and you want to start out having fun, summon Spirit Reaper and start hitting away, you know. Um, and I like to tech different cards in my deck. I mean... It's not like a crazy card that you've never seen before. But, I mean, first turn doing DD Crow, your opponent is like, seriously? Plus, he's a dark that goes in the grave right away. And, I mean, there's a lot of people that still rely on the grave. So, if you start with one DD Crow, 
I mean, your opponent is not really first game waiting for you to DD Crow. So there you go. That's a surprise factor. I run one card just in case you draw your, your Shine Ball or your Venus. And or you can go into it from Pot of Duality and then draw another, you know, then draw two cards. So it all depends how you want to go about it. Two MST, Destruction, Heavy, Destruction, and I don't have to explain everything else. Starlight Road is just so, if they want to attack you, I mean, if you want to summon Spam and then set two back rows, I mean, they can either try to Heavy, you bring out Stardust, or they could try to Dark Hole and bring out Stardust. Either way, they try to rent you, you bring out Stardust. <laughs> That's all I have to say. And Trap Dust Shoe, I, I'm, I'm thinking it's just basically a staple of everybody's deck, because, um... It's just something that most of the time I actually draw into the first game, I mean first turn, or even when my opponent already has three cards in hand, and it's super awesome now I get to see their hand on top of I've sent one back. Monster, of course. Um, this is not really a side deck, but these are like different uh, different cards that I used to use. You know, I, I either had 40 cards in my, I have probably 42 cards in my deck, and I just interchange between them. Exceeds, Leviathan. Just because you can go into a level three levy year, so you can continue your 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 you know you remove for Hyperion's effect, remove Venus special summon um you know then you can exceed if you have another level three, and just go crazy two gotchas because Shine Ball is crazy on top of you can probably have a Shine Ball and an Earth and just exceed into a gotcha just for the extra power boost on your side of the field, and Utopia because like I said you never know when you're gonna go into a level four. I do understand I'm missing Armory Arm, so yeah. Let me see something. Yeah, yeah, I can't, I probably can't see what I'm doing, but yeah, I just cut it off. So yeah, there you go, Armory Arm. So basically, um, you know, Cataster, Wavering, that cost, that's just for the OTK factor. Uh, Black Rose, you know. Basic staple synchros and armory arm. So hopefully y'all enjoyed the deck profile. Um, please comment so that I can know which I like and which I dislike. Um, and um, I don't know. I mean, uh, just tell me what y'all think about the deck and what should I change. And if y'all like the way I'm actually, you know, doing it here, or do y'all want to see a real life, uh, a real life duel or whatnot? Um, just uh you know pm me uh hope y'all enjoyed please rate comment subscribe and enjoy the rest of my videos peace